the title of this talk is Intern CEO, so let's talk about the early days for you guys in the arts. Um, what was your kind of first arts job? Mine, we, did you fall into it by luck, am I right in thinking? Or? I'm not an art historian. I, I studied what we probably call here cultural anthropology and sociology and a bit history. Mm -hmm. um, and later, after PhD in France, it was history and then part of art history. So, at the beginning, I was more working on the topic of the. I mean, I made, made a PhD on museums history. Yeah. 1920s, 1930s, the culture politics from the 1920s into the 1930s in Germany. Tough <laughs> topic, as you can imagine. I, I really like that I did it. It was, it was great for me. Not easy, but great. So it was, my, my field of interest was the museum in itself, mm -hmm. a lot of what Pierre Bourdieu did and so on. So I wasn't, that was not my, my first interest. I never expected to work in a museum. At that time, it was, we talk about the mid-70s, late 70s, early 80s, not well, early 80s. It was all about media, mm. video. Yep. Um, that, was the, that was the topic of the time. And, um, and I remember, I mean, I said it quite often in the media, when I had my first job in the museum, my friends called me and said, <laughs> are you just crazy? I mean, it's, a museum's curator was the most, I mean, nobody wanted to be a museum's curator. Mm. It was a dusty job and nobody liked it really. I mean, just today, if you read it, I read it in the walk a few <coughs> months ago, that it's obviously the most exciting job today. Yeah, for me, it's... For me, it's still a bit of a surprise. <laughs> so, um, I, I had a girlfriend, I mean, I've mentioned it before, I had a girlfriend in a city not too far away from Stuttgart. We wanted to spend the summer together. Uh, I asked for an internship in the local museum. There was a great museum director, I really liked him. Self-made man, challenging. Then I asked for an internship. At that time, paid internship. And um, he said, oh, actually, no, I'm not interested. And I walked out the door, uh, out the office. And when I was exactly on the doorstep, he said, ah, no, please come back again. <laughs> that was the beginning of my career. So if that moment didn't happen, you could have been doing something completely different. Sure, I listened to Black Forest. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, honestly, I mean, this is, I, I don't, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of anecdotal and a funny story, but what I mean is like, there's always something you don't plan. There's always yep. something you have to, um, to, just to be aware of it. But sometimes it happens and don't say no. Or should just yeah, fuck yeah. them. So that's that's I never planned a career, never, never, never. So there are moments of luck that will obviously show your career, but it is it is something about kind of exploiting those moments and making the most of them. For sure, for sure. Because coming coming back into that office you, you know, you want you step back in and you, you did something yeah. about it and you, you and that was the beginning. Yeah, but you can't plan it, it's it's just curiosity. You have to Yeah. yeah. But I think Mark Twain had it right, you know, the harder I work, the luckier I get. <coughs> I think you obviously need those breaks, yep. um, but what you make of them is down to you. And so in my, my case it was um, you know, walking, walking along High Open, uh, needing a temp job and having to pass um, Reed, and in the window there was a little card saying that the Arts Council was looking for a glorified filing clerk for a week. And um, getting it, and then you know, for very sad circumstances the person whose role I was covering couldn't come back to work, so um, I ended up got, got a job. Yeah. And the, being the Arts Council, you know, there's a regular cycle of restructurings. But so, but so what, what do you do with the, in those early years, though? How do you make the most of it? Is it about meeting as many people as possible? Is it about kind of trying your hand at as much as you can get your hands on? Is it, what is it about those first kind of um, I think in, in my case, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll kick off. Um, yeah. my, my, my case, I, 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 I'm, to be honest, until I joined the Arts Council, I, I've been um, a bit of a lost soul, actually. Yeah. I knew what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to be a doctor. I come from a very medical family and um, hundreds of years of medicine. I decided that's definitely not for me. Mm. And then I, uh, my dad died when I was quite young, and I sort of mucked around a bit, slightly in denial um, for that, um, racking up um, debts. Um, I, um, you know, uh, trained as an accountant for 10 months before dropping out, realising it was a dreadful mistake. And um, then mucked around, <coughs> knocking up more um, debts, and I desperately needed a temp job. And all of a sudden things, um, at least in my personal story, began to click into place. Because um, you know, the Arts Council was doing something I believed in. Um, as it happens, my mum was a musician. Um, 
I used to hunt around furniture when um, uh, her orchestra was um, touring uh, bits of the Northwest. And I just suddenly felt a connection between what I valued and believed in and a bit of my history and the circumstances yeah. I was in. And I thought, this fits, I'm going to really go for it. And so I then, um, I didn't set out quite as nakedly as this, but I think with hindsight, I probably um, you know, did look at the, um, beyond the margins of the job description to look out for what's new and interesting and trying to um, put that extra um, bit of graft in um, so that when opportunities did present themselves in the innumerable restructurings that the Arts Council went through over the next five years, um, there were uh, ang ang angles and that I could take advantage of, and that was it. Yeah. And it just it was that connection between circumstance, values, and opportunity, mm -hmm. and going for it. We really want to know it. Yeah. I mean, in a very honest way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very personal, um, and maybe completely wrong. And next time I say exactly the opposite. Um, I mean, part this like this, what you said, Alex, with lost soul. The other thing was that I just needed the money. I come from a very modest family background. Um, my father was an electrician, my mother a tailor. Um, my mother, or both parents, my mother more loved the arts, but there was not enough money to do something. But actually there was something that, you know, on the Sunday we went to a museum or we went to Paris or something like this. And there is this, the war that changed everything, I was born 10 years after the war. I mean, at that time it was like the war was the Middle Ages. But obviously there was this kind of, the new Germany. Mm. Um, I think I was quite lucky, probably like you, Alex, having a certain, sounds ridiculous, but it's really important. I never thought about that, it just started a few weeks ago, thinking sometimes about this. I'm a, it's, I'm a meter 87 or whatever. Um, I'm very shy. Everybody thought it's er to be arrogant. Mm. This kind of meter eighty-seven, arrogant, shy behavior, looking like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Even if I had no clue what I'm doing, but it, obviously people always thought that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, don't. I didn't look like coming from a very modest or say poor family background. I just took obviously more risk than a lot of other people because I had to do it. We. I, we haven't had the money, so I had to work on vacations or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't afford to say no because I needed it. Yep. Um, if you don't say no, you take more risk. If you get to use somehow to take more risk, you do it again. Yep. Because if it, it was not a, cat a catastrophe the first time, maybe it's not a catastrophe the second yeah. time. Yeah. Um, you are probably more prepared to take um, the downsides of it because we have no other chance. I mean, poor doesn't mean it was really kind of difficult family background. I, I had a very lucky childhood. Um, I tried a lot of different things because not really knowing what I want to do, so I had learned for quite a while the conservation, mm -hmm. furniture conservation. I always forget it to mention it, but I, I learned. Um, so it's, it's that mix, I mean, it's somehow different but also similar. It's that mix of um, to, I want to know more, uh, I want to do more, but honestly I don't know the direction. I don't think that's ever changed in my life. 